Hello, welcome back to David Wheeler Models. And today we are looking at the Badger 3D Creations 172 Alvis Stormer. Okay, so let's have a, have a look. As you can see, I've opened the box already. You get a nice card from Badger. Okay, and you also at the moment, I believe, get 20% off if you order more than one. Um, these are great models, so I can't really say enough good about them. They're fantastic. So, I'll come back to that in a minute. A bit more review here. Right, so it's nicely packaged and they are quite uh, fragile models, but they always come very nicely packaged. And you can see some of the detail already on that. That's just the launcher. Absolutely superb. So onto the main model itself, which I believe is the FV432 chassis, uh, currently using the British Army as an armoured personnel carrier. Uh, it's been around a little while since the 60s, I believe, and obviously has come uh, into use more again as the Bulldog variant uh, for use in like Afghanistan and things. So this is 72 scale. Look at that. The detail is fantastic. You've got all the spare wheels. You've got... Uh, spare fuel or water cans there you've got the mirrors you've got all the hatches and you've got this time the smoke grenade launchers they've even been hollowed out incredible detail there uh, the uh, tow lugs on the front of the lights and the containers at the side and then of course the exhaust so let's put that together with the launcher there so another good one from Badger. Oh, just to let you know as well, because it is 3D printed, of course, it is hollow. So you will need to fill those holes if you want to. I mean, they don't really show anyway, but if you want to keep it as a complete model, like the real thing, then fill those holes and you can just stuff them with a bit of tissue or something and then put some model filler in and then sand it flat. Uh, the tracks are also really, really good here. As you can see, there's a few remnants over, left over from the printing, but we can soon get rid of those the sharp knife uh, you have to be careful so that you don't snap anything uh, but even the tracks i feel are, are even better than the uh, spartan which i've shown on this website recently so let's connect up the launcher and it's kind of a little bit loose but that's good because it allows for you to sort of move it around and eventually sort of glue it or if you want it to to rotate to maybe just fill that hole in there with a little something bit of filler or something just to give it a bit of traction so it doesn't wobble around uh, i've got the sensor here as well i don't think these unlike the uh, spartan which obviously was used to great effect in the uh, first gulf war in the 1990s i don't think these take too much kind of damage and wear and tear so they, when i model this i'm going to do it almost sort of not quite pristine but but quite clean looking compared to the recent uh, spartan which you probably saw was kind of chipped and had all sorts of wear and tear on it so here's the sensor so i presume that uh, is something like an infrared beam or something which obviously guides the the missiles i don't actually know too much about this vehicle to be honest and you even get the little uh covers there that go onto the the lights in the front so when they uh when i clean those up they will stick on there nicely as is the real thing uh, i've compared this to um uh, material on the internet uh, reference pictures and i've got to say it's pretty good um very little has been left out as far as i can see maybe there's one i've seen with a little sort of aerial stump on the front there but you can see all the grids and all the covers are nicely detailed you've got all the hatches uh nicely done as i've already said you've got grenade launchers you've got mirrors uh you've got the pioneer tools hard to paint but uh it's good to see them included Otherwise, you, you know, you have to order them yourself and some sort of, uh, looks like some sort of rod or something, uh, maybe uh, aluminum or something that's used for the vehicle. Um, and the rear uh, access door for the crew. So very nice indeed. Like I said, I'm not going to uh, weather this one too much because I believe in, in theatre, the Stormer, to date hasn't had an awful lot of wear and tear hasn't been really been used in uh, live combat theater as far as i know uh, do correct me uh, just another little bonus here as well coming from badger um is a little what well, looks like a little badger wearing 
uh, like a sort of a light little pilot's helmet there. So that's very interesting. That's all free. Um, I've got to say, like I said, the super value from Badger. Uh, I believe this one was around about twelve pounds, twelve seventy-five. And like I said, a kit model, you'd be looking probably about twenty, twenty-five pound if it was even available. Uh, I'm not sure there are kits even av available of the. Uh, the Alvis Stormer. So once again, Badger, well done. Fantastic model, lovely detail. Really looking forward to making that. And uh, well, just got to say well done. Um, super smooth print there, um, which is I know is hard to do with 3D printing. Tried it a little bit myself and it is really hard to get it without any sort of, um, or rather some completely smooth surfaces. Uh, the cheaper printers tend to sort of kind of create sort of layers which are are quite visible to the modeler so yeah once again well done thank you very much